Hey guys! <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. This, uh, this is the first makeup look that I'm doing on my channel. This is a Christmas makeup look. Uh, red lips, just everything classic. Um, the background is really noisy because I don't have money to buy a microphone. So I'm just using the microphone that comes with the camera so you can hear a lot of background noises. But I'll work on that somehow. If you really really like this makeup look, then you can just keep watching. Hey guys, so I just washed my face. So you have to start with a clean face and then we can start our makeup. So first, I'm using the Burt's Bees Lip Balm. So now that my lips are prepped, I'm going in to use a primer. And the first primer I'm using is by Makeup Forever. It's the Skin Equalizing Mattifying Primer. And I put this all over the oily parts of my face. So my T-zone and especially my nose area. So now that everything is on in my T-zones, I'll just blend it up with my fingers. Now that I've used my mattifying primer, I'm using the Baby Skin uh, Pore Minimizing Primer and this is supposed to minimize the appearances of pores as well as um, smoothen out their skin so that the foundation applies better. I like to put it in areas where I feel that my skin is a little bit more uneven, so in my under eye areas, um, my T-zones especially, and the remainder then I'll spread around my cheeks. So now that my base is ready, I'm going in with my True Match foundation and mine is in the shade W7. I really like this foundation because it's uh, light to medium coverage. I don't like very heavy coverage foundations just because Singapore is really hot and humid and if I do use that, I feel that my skin cannot breathe. So this is the foundation that I always go for and I love it also because it has such a wide range of shades. Uh, shades. <laughs> So I just continue blending uh, with the beauty blender until I'm happy with the finished product and then now I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. Uh, this is just to cover up my dark circles or any pimples that still peek through the foundation. I'm blending it up with a buffing brush. This is the one I got from Real Techniques. Baby, they don't wanna see me be happy because they ain't happy. No, they don't got you. Now I'm gonna dry in my brows. So how I like to do it is that I like to draw on the bottom border of my brow first and then the arch of my brow and then the top border of my brows and then fill in the more sparse areas of my brows and then blend it up with the brush that comes together with the pencil. So once my brows are filled, I like to go back to my face so I'm using the Cody Airspun powder to set the foundation and concealer that I used just now. I like to do my brows before doing my powder because I like to wait for my foundation and my concealer to dry a little bit. Otherwise, when you put the powder, it kind of cakes on and you have excessive powder on your face. So today for the eyes, I'm using the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place and I'm just taking the orange transition shade with a fluffy brush and blending it all over my crease and also all over my lid. So you don't have to be precise with this step. So once you have your transition base in, now we're going in with the darker orangey reddish brown color and we're using a fluffy brush and we're gonna be more precise this time 
So we're mainly focusing on the outer V and then bringing in the remainder of the shadow to the inner V. So when you're going in with this crease color, it's best if you can angle your uh, eyeshadow brush downwards a little bit so that you don't go up too high to the brow bone because that's really not what we want. We want it to remain in the crease so that it gives your eyes the depth that you want. So now we're done with the matte crease, we're going in with a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and this is in the shade on the rocks and it is just a beautiful bronze color and I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid space I'm not bringing up to my crease and a little bit up just so that it blends seamlessly into the matte crease that I created just now so I've already applied them on both my lids and now I'm moving on to another ColourPop shadow called Kathleen Lights and this is in a super beautiful copper gold and I'm just going to apply this on the center of my lids. So how this creates depth for your eyes is that you highlight the center of your lid while you contour your crease and hence this is creating shadows to make your eyes appear deeper set into your eyes, into your skull, yes, into your skull so that you your eyes look bigger and they also look more deep set with this, with it, with but I can't speak. So, which is what you want. And now I'm taking the second shade that I used just now from the Juvia's palette and I'm doing my under eye. I don't like to make it really heavy because I have quite heavy eye bags and I feel that when my under eye eyeshadow is too dark it makes my eye bags more prominent which is what not what I want because my eye bags are really bad as it is so I'm just using a fluffy fluff, fluffy shading brush for this so now I'm going in with a black gel liner and this is the one by Beauty Bakery I don't think it's super good which is why I didn't show it to the camera but I've worn it out before and it never smudged so I guess it's okay and I don't know why but in this video I was really bad at doing the wing but you can watch other people's <laughs> video because <laughs> I'm really bad at it on how to do a wing liner for your eyes and yeah so I'm just gonna fast forward this back because that was really horrible. <laughs> So here I'm just completing the wing liner on the other side. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Mascara. Again, I don't really recommend it, which is why I didn't show it to you guys. But because this is really um, chunky, it clumps my lashes together, so I don't like it. But it does give the length and the volume, so I just used it in this video anyway. Later on, you will see that I use a clean spoolie to just brush out the clumps in the mascara. So now we are finally moving back to the face. So I'm using the Milani blush. So now I'm gonna go in with a bronzer slash contour. So this is the Sculpting Sticks that I got from Colourpop and this is in the shade New Renaissance by the Jamie King collaboration. So I'm putting it in the hollows of my cheek, drawing a triangle as well as at my jaw. And then I'm using the same buffing brush that I use from my concealer and I'm swirling it in the areas near my ears. And then when I want to bring it out towards my nose or towards the corner of my lip, I only do it in diagonal motion, so I do not swirl it near the corners of my cheek, I only bring it outwards diagonally and I only swirl it around my ear area. Around your jaw area, you can just kind of blend it out like normal, there's no particular technique to that. So now every girl's favorite part, the highlight. So I'm using the Exposed Highlight by Tarte. And I'm just placing the highlight on my cheekbones, 
um, on my cupid's bow on my nose as well as my brow bone. This is a super good highlighter. You can even tone it down and use this as an everyday highlighter. This is in the shade Bichette by Colourpop. So I'm just lining my lips. I do like to overline my lips when it comes to red lips so that they look more plump and sexy. Yeah, I'm not sexy, but you know. So once you've lined your lips, you can color in the center with a red lipstick. I'm using one by Milani. And after that, you can use a tissue paper to clean out the sides. You can use concealer, but I think personally that that's a little bit more difficult. So this is the complete Christmas makeup look that I have for you guys this year. I hope you guys really, really like this. To help me out by giving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Merry Christmas guys. I hope you guys have a really really good holiday. My baby's in town and we're gonna do some winter things. Hey.